I'm Goran Olsson. I'm at the ACAM Iconoscope booth. Um, we are introducing our new uh, digital uh, film camera. Uh, this one. Uh, this camera records uncompressed raw file. Uh, what we did actually was we wanted to create the smallest possible camera with a really excellent cinematic look. Uh, what we did was that all cameras have a sensor and a battery, no sorry, all cameras have a sensor, a memory card and a processor. We removed the processor so you have to use your own computer to process the images. Uh, what you have here is basically um, HD SDI out, USB for downloading the footage or uh, upgrading the software. You have a memory cartridge, a Sony battery, uh, time code in so you can hook up with audio uh, devices and uh, earphones out. On this side you have a monitor option with a USB monitor. You have sound in two channels and you have a remote uh, connection. This will only, also synchronize two cameras to each other in a 3D application. Uh, what we do, we, we, we write really, really large files, so we write about 250 megabytes a second. And that's a lot. In order to do that, we had to have a very fast memory, and there are, they, in order to do, find that we had to invent our own memory. So this is a cartridge with 160 gigabytes of, of storage. And it, uh, it's the fastest memory around. We, uh, we do uh, HD. So this is a 1920 by 1080? Yes. Actually we do slightly bigger than that, which you could use if stab stabilizing or in 3D applications. So we have, I think, two, 20 pixels on the side and 10 pixels on up and down that we have extra room for. Uh, it's like a 16 millimeter, uh, it's a Kodak. It's like 230 inch? Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's an analog CCD with a global shutter. So it kind of analog feel to it. And, and uh, it's, uh, we like the sensor very, it's manufactured by Kodak. And, and so the a typical workflow, as you imagine, is what? You are in the field, you're shooting super solid-state drives. Yeah. Uh, and then you, what do you do with those solid-state drives? Uh, you, have to, you have to import them and develop them. And you can use uh, DaVinci, Nucoda, you can use uh, any Adobe product. Yeah. Yes. Made in solid aluminium. And this is like a video iPod for uncompressed raw files. Uh, since we're using uncompressed, uh, there's a difference, you know, people tend to think that raw is uncompressed, but it's not. So I think we're the only one who really do uncom totally uncompressed. Everything that, you know, hits the sensor is on the file. Uh, and every frame is stored is, as an individual file on the hard drive. Uh, so if you lose power or you break the camera or whatever, you will have everything except the last frame you filmed. So we don't do any wrapping, you know. What file format is that? Cinema DNG. So you end up with DNG stacks? Yes. Yes. A bunch of them. We also include sound in those frames. Uh, so, yeah. So the sound files are embedded in Yes. Yes. And time code. We have two time codes.